Today, I'm going to recap a 2010 Korean comedy drama movie called Hello Ghost. This movie tells the story of an orphan who fails to end his life and gets the ability to see ghosts instead. So, what happens next? Let's find out. The story begins with Sangman, an adult orphan trying to swallow a handful of pills in a rental room to end his miserable lonely life. However, his water container is empty. He then drinks tap water and collapses. Shortly, the landlord barges in his room and saves him, forcing Sangman to spit out the pills once more. But Sangman's attempts don't end there. He tries jumping off a bridge to the river below, but is quickly saved by the police. Sangman wakes up on a hospital bed, when suddenly, a smoking man appears beside him. He tells him that he shouldn't smoke inside a hospital, but it seems that the nurse can't see the smoking man. Sangman is then taken to the psychiatrist. In the room, Sangman meets a crying woman. He is then taken back to his room with his two new friends. At night, Sangman wakes up and spots an older man on the hospital's desk messing around with a nurse. His three friends stare at Sangman, causing him to run back to his room. However, his friends are already inside, floating in the air. Sangman realizes that he can see ghosts now after his near-death experience. The three ghosts tell Sangman that they'll be sharing his body, taking over every now and then. Sangman then falls unconscious on the floor. In the morning, Sangman spots a kid jumping on the bed, quickly realizing that he is yet another ghost since the others can't see the kid. Sangman visits a shaman for some help. The shaman tells him that to make them disappear, he needs to fulfill the ghost's wishes. He returns to his apartment afterwards, telling the ghosts that he'll help them fulfill their wishes so they can leave. The elder ghost volunteers to be the first, saying that he wants a certain camera back. The next morning, Sangman and the elder ghost go to town, trying to find the camera, but fail. The ghost then says that he should go to the man who has it. The tired Sangman asks the ghost why he didn't say so earlier, and the elder ghost replies, saying that they can only answer when they are asked. They then go to the man who has the camera, a police higher-up. They try multiple approaches, but the police ignore him. Sangman is then taken to the police office for obstructing a police operation. The elder ghost starts spilling the police higher-up secret, which causes the police to finally hand over the camera. Sangman then goes to the hospital and the elder ghost calls an old patient who seems to be a friend from behind. The patient turns around and sees Sangman, clearly not recognizing him. They then have lunch together and have some small talk. It is interrupted by Sangman, staring at a nurse who passes by, Yoon. It was like love at first sight. The elder ghost notices and starts hitting on Yoon creepily. Afterwards, they return and Sangman scolds the elder ghost for hitting on Yoon with his body. The old patient returns to his hospital bed and smiles widely after seeing the returned camera. The next morning, it's time for the kid ghost's wish. He wants to see an animation movie. They go to the theater and find Yoon with a young cancer patient, John. Sangman asks if she likes animation films and she says yes. After the movie, the kid ghost also wishes to buy a toy robot, and Sangman obliges. He then spots Yoon and Jong once again. They decide to have Jijang Mayan at a restaurant. Sangman follows and eats at the table beside them. The kid ghost starts devouring multiple bowls easily, causing Jong to start taking a liking to Sangman. However, Sangman starts throwing up in the bathroom after the possession is over. He then meets up with Yoon and Jong at a nearby game stall. Sangman decides to give it a try and manages to win the grand prize with the help of the kid ghost, getting a huge candy. At night, Sangman and the smoking ghost try to steal a car. The ghost wants to drive a car again. They break into a car yard at night but find a man guarding it. They come to an agreement that he'll let Sangman have a car if he can bring his wife back to him. The next day, Sangman follows the man's wife to the hospital, overhearing her conversation with Yoon. 
Yoon spots him as he walks to the emergency stairs for a smoke and comes over. Yoon tells him to quit smoking as it turns out that the woman has lung cancer because her husband smokes a lot and taking medications can harm the baby inside her. Sangman returns to the car yard after and tells the man about his wife's situation. His wife shows up shortly after and the man apologizes, crying together with his wife. After the situation resolves, the smoking ghost starts driving a taxi cab to the beach. They arrive and sit down to have a deep talk. Sangman asks the smoking ghost about what marriage feels like. The ghost replies, saying that even though having more family members causes more hardships, they also give you even more strength to go on in life, supporting you every step of the way. Sangman's perspective on life starts to change. The smoking ghost possesses Sangman's body and goes for a swim at the sea, even though Sangman can't swim. The ghost tells him to stay calm and they swim till the sun sets, the other ghosts also relaxing at the beach. They go back home afterwards. Sangman wishes that they are actual humans, because he starts enjoying his time with the ghosts. The next day, Sangman goes to the DVD shop to buy some animation DVDs for Yoon. The smoking ghost drives him back home, but throws away the cigarette out the window, deciding to quit smoking with Sangman's body. However, a police car stops them because of that. Pulling over to the side, the police ask Sangman for his license, but he doesn't have one, so he gets taken to the police station. The police tell him to call a guardian or a family member, but Sangman doesn't have anyone. He then remembers Yoon and decides to call her. At night, Sangman starts talking about how people die the most on festive days because they feel lonely while everyone's out there having fun. His dream is to work, get married, and live with a happy family, but he feels that an orphan like him doesn't stand a chance. All of his pictures are of only him and he can only imagine that his family is there. Yoon hears all of this, surprising Sangman. They then drive away from the police station. In the cab, Yoon explains to Sangman that people's circumstances are different. Yoon wants to escape from her family, especially her father. Afterwards, they arrive at a parking LOT Sangman gives the box of animation DVDs to Yoon. Yoon carries the heavy box, and the smoking ghost tells Sangman to carry the box for the woman. He carries the box and boards the bus together, but Sangman stops the bus halfway as Yoon goes back to the hospital. Sangman sits at the bus stop, happy and laughing together with the smoking ghost after his small date. Time for the final wish. The crying ghost wishes to make dinner for the ghosts, Sangman, and a special guest, Yoon. They go to the hospital to try and invite Yoon, but comes across her father who rambles on about marriage, wishing he can see Yoon and Sangman together. Yoon gets annoyed and Sangman tries to calm her down, telling her not to act like that towards her father. Yoon tells him to stay out of her life and walks away. Sangman returns home, back to being a lifeless man. Sangman doesn't care about his life anymore and wants to sell his stuff, despite the ghosts trying to stop him. Night falls and Sangman's doorbell rings. He opens the door, seeing the ghost of Yoon's father, asking him to pass her a message. Afterwards, Sangman goes to Yoon's father's funeral and talks to Yoon, explaining that he can see ghosts and that her father came over to his home and says he's sorry. The next morning, Yoon and the old patient have some small talk. The old patient then tells Yoon to return the camera to Sangman. Meanwhile, Sangman and the crying ghost go to the market and start shopping for food ingredients for their dinner. In the evening, as the crying ghost prepares the dinner, the doorbell rings once more. Yoon is there to return the camera, but spots the table full of food, clearly meant for multiple people. Sangman then invites her in, and she accepts. Sangman thinks it would be nice to have a meal with a family like this, but in Yoon's perspective, they are having a date. Sangman is nervous, but the ghosts start helping him, possessing him one by one and helping him impress Yoon. Sangman smiles, seeing the ghosts help him out. But then, Yoon asks him who the real Sangman is, because she feels like there's different sides to him. 
After being silent, Sang Man tells Yoon that her father has left out a gift for Yoon, at the place where they always meet. Yoon walks out, and Sang Man starts asking the ghosts why they aren't leaving yet, even though they've got their wishes. The next morning, the ghosts are gone. Yoon goes to the place that her father meant and sees a box of new shoes for her, causing her to cry after realizing her father really does care for her. Meanwhile, Sang Man sits inside his cab with toxic gas, planning to get away from his life once more. However, flashbacks of him and Yoon stops him from dying. He wants to live. Yoon returns inside the hospital, and Sang Man is there, asking her out for lunch. They sit on a bench outside, Yoon explaining that Jong, the kid patient, has passed away without knowing who his parents were because people can lose memories in a big shock. She apologizes for her behavior the night before. Sang Man forgives her, saying that the ghosts are gone now and tells her something always wakes him up after he tries to kill himself, and he gets angry for failing. He also tells her that he tried to kill himself earlier, but the thought of her stopped him. He realized that he wants to live with Yoon. Yoon smiles when she hears that. They continue their lunch, eating the kimbap from the night before. She wonders why he puts parsley instead of spinach in the kimbap. Sangman answers, saying that his mother told him it's good for him, so she uses parsley instead. And that's when the memories start flowing back to him. Memories with his family members, which turn out to be the ghosts he's been with. The ghost's wishes are all his family members' wishes back when they were alive. His mother wanted to cook the family dinner and also go to the market with Sang Man. His brother wanted to watch a movie together with Sang Man. His grandfather wanted to have a family picture and borrowed a neighbor's camera. And finally, his father wanted to have a family trip to the sea, but the trip ended in a disaster for the family, leaving Sang Man alone in the world. Sang Man returns home, begging for the ghost to reappear and stay with him. One by one, his family members appear and give him advice and encouragement to continue living his life to the fullest. Sang Man promises to live from now on for his deceased family. They then take a family picture in the apartment, but the picture only shows Sang Man inside. In the end, his family keeps their promise, appearing in every picture of Sang Man. When he was still a child, after he graduated from university, at his marriage with Yoon, and when they have their first child. It was also revealed that when Sang Man tried to swallow the pills at the beginning, his family emptied the water container so he had nothing to drink. The family has always been there to help Sang Man keep on living, and will continue to do so. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.